Five years after Wauwatosa dealt with killer coyotes, the problem seems to have reemerged. This weekend, a coyote attacked a 15-year-old Yorkie, ending the little dog's life. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joins us live in the newsroom with that story tonight. Michelle? Natalie, the coyote attack happened in the Fisher Woods neighborhood just off Valite, and this one is personal. The dog that was killed belonged to our chief meteorologist, Drew Burgoyne. We sat down with him, his wife, and their other dog who survived the attack. 15-year-old Yorkie Alley is sitting on her mom's lap, but shaking as we did our interview. And they were litter mates. They've never been separated. Adrian and Allie witnessed the attack Saturday. And I just panicked. I just panicked. It happened around 8 a.m. minutes after a neighbor on the other side of the block snapped this picture. Brady was just over here, kind of right by these trees, and I was standing about here. The next thing I knew, it had Brady in its mouth, and it was just shaking violently. And, yeah, and, it, and it wasn't deterred by me when I yelled. Um, it just ran just to the other side of that white fence um, and kind of dropped him there. Now, Adrian and Drew Burgoyne hope city leaders will do something. We want action this week. We don't want any of our friends' pets to die. Folks are, are really on edge right now because you have coyotes that are that are running through. While Watosa police tell us this is the first pet to die from a coyote this year. A woman walking her dogs nearby did report being stalked by one. They all got away. The last time five years ago all this happened, it took multiple pet deaths for anything to be done, and I don't think that's acceptable. Coyotes are referred to as nuisance wildlife. The State Department of Natural Resources says it's impossible to eradicate them from urban areas, and relocation is difficult. If you remove a coyote from a particular area, another one will just fill that, that vacancy there. The Burgoynes hope something can be done. Well, I'll never get that image out of my mind. He shook him violently, and I knew right away that he wasn't going to survive. We brought him in, and we were all able to hold him and, and say goodbye, and then we, we took him to be put to sleep. The DNR recommends hazing coyotes, letting them know they're not welcome by throwing things in their direction and yelling loudly if you see one. In addition, make your yard a place that coyotes won't like. Don't leave food outside, eliminate brush under trees, and set out lights. Live in the newsroom, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.